Welcome back to the John Roberts Gaming Channel. This is John Roberts, and you are watching Allied Placement Episode 2. But before you watch Allied Placement Episode 2, I'm going to ask you to like, share, and subscribe, and do all those wonderful things that help this channel. So, Allied Placement 2, Episode 2. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, Soviet Union, Round 3. Let's buy our land units. Eight infantry, one artillery. Very nice buy. Alright, let's take... At least attempt to take Karelia. I think if I take this, this is a... Pretty good win early in the game. Not doing anything else. Favorable. I'm getting a favorable here. Let's go with favorable. Made the dice got to be with us. Okay, so, if I retreat back into West Russia, he's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I would have five and six are eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You would have five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to run that through a calculator. So that would give him about a 30% chance of taking West Russia. So I will take that. That's actually not bad. A slight profit. Not as much as I had hoped. Okay, everything into West Russia. Now I wish I had put this fighter and the US bomber in West Russia. Can't see the future. Let's move this uh, sub over. We can bring him into the uh, Pacific or something. Those three infantry over. Infantry over. Mobilize our units. Put the artillery in Russia, and then all the rest. We'll put four in Caucasus and the rest in Russia. Okay, let's see what we got, Germany. UK round three. What did Germany have in store for us? They had one fighter, ten infantry, one artillery. So now he's got five fighters and one bomber. He still has these two fighters here, but they can't reach these sea zones. So five fighters and one bomber is what we have to deal with. So we need more defense. They repaired three points of damage. Took Trans Jordan. He attacked Caucasus. Soviet Union held on. He lost three, two infantry and an artillery, taking out two of my infantry. I like that. Anglo Egypt he took, and France he took. All right, moved some units back to Germany. Moved some more units to France. Put some units in Ukraine. And one anti-aircraft to Belarus. Mobilized a fighter and seven infantry in Berlin. One artillery, one infantry in Italy. And two infantry in Karelia. So the United Kingdom with 36. You know I like to keep a 
both my Atlantic fleets able to defend themselves, so let's beef it up. He's got five, six. I've only got one, two, three, four, five defenders. I could reinforce with the United States, but you know me. I like to keep them independently safe, if possible. I'd rather use this. I probably will have to take a U.S. destroyer and put in C-Zone 8 as well. We can also use another transport, and we can get 7 infantry, which is just enough for India and to fill 2 transports. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to have 2 left. So let's get a tank for India. I like it. 5 infantry, 1 tank, 1 transport, 1 destroyer. Let's go for it. So we're not taking France. I would like to go into C-Zone 5, I just don't have any way to defend myself. Then I'd be putting myself... I'd, I'd be giving him two more attackers. And my son Archer just noticed that I'm recording and is gonna come uh, keep his company while we do that. I had one hour left to record this, so I had no choice but to do it with uh, my little buddy here with me. Say hi! No, it's the morning. So I guess the best thing to do would just be take two of you because we built all infantry, so we could just take two infantry and just uh, capture Northwest Europe. And now these two infantry, I think I might send them to Africa. He put six units here. It's a bit much for me to try to take. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, let's see, he's got four. He's got six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, hmm, you can only come in here with 16, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, these three fighters can't reach, 13, 14, 15, 16, we'll even say 17 with the two bombardments. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, it's going to be a rough defense, but I think we're going to have to do it. We also have to kind of just let them have Persia, I guess. Sticky, sticky, sticky. I think that's our only attack. Well, let's not forget to go on a bombing run. May the dice gods be with us. That was a good bombing run. Let's see, he's got two. He's got five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. He's got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And no Japanese really coming up to threaten or not enough to come up and threaten. Something we learned in Mannix's game is before we count a stack to see if the UK can leave a stack, make sure that Japan is not going to be able to threaten after their turn, leaving you in a position where you can't properly defend against the Germans and then defend against the uh, Japanese. In other words, what happens in this Japanese round will greatly affect what you should have done in your UK round. So you just have to keep an eye on that. Alright, everybody to India. India is not as safe because it doesn't have a fighter. We have to figure out how to get a fighter over there. We'll use 23 and we'll drop these off. There's nothing in range of this 
transport. So let's send this cruiser up so that it can next round it can uh, help defend this. Let's send this sub. No, we can't go to 49. Let's go to 46. These two stay put. These are all staying. These stay put. Double and triple check. Always look everything over one last time. Okay. Destroyer, transport, season eight. Fill up India with the tank and two infantry. Leaving three infantry for UK, which means I miscounted something. I bought an extra infantry. It's not that big a deal. We'll just have uh, we'll purchase one less infantry next round and use the IPC then. But uh, just a minor mistake. This I consider this a mistake. Made a purchase that you just were not. You were being a little careless with. All right. Let's see what they got in store for us. USA. It is round three. What did Japan do for round three? Two fighters, one bomber, two infantry. Interesting round three buy. He still does not have an industrial complex on the mainland. He's going with mostly aircraft. I actually think that that's uh, good for me because without land units, you can't take land. You could have all the air power you want. That doesn't mean that he still can't build an industrial complex round four. I think I've played a game or two as Japan where I have one and I did not build an industrial complex till round four. But he's spending a lot of IPCs on aircraft, I feel. He doesn't even have uh, infantry coming up to transport and he only has two transports. Nope, he has four, sorry. He does have four. This India situation, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're not going to be able to take it. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't know if we could hold India. We may have to pull out of India this coming round, round four. UK round four, we may have to pull out of India. Keep an eye on that. All right, back to the... Uh, Japanese review. Nine IPC damage. So he's making out with these bombing runs. Okay. Soviet Far East he took. Kazakh he took. And he went into sea zone 44 and my submarine simply submerged. Okay, two bombers to Szechuan, one infantry and one artillery. He sent uh, all of this to Burma, as we said before, 15 units here in Burma. And this is because we lost all our aircraft. He very luckily shot down all our aircraft going for this battleship, and he still has this transport on top of it. And we have no aircraft in India. I cannot properly defend India without aircraft. I cannot properly push back the Japanese without aircraft. So. Okay, he moved units into C-Zone 36, into Yunnan, and he mobilized his units in Japan. So USA, USA, so now he's got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that can hit me here, it's a bit of, a little sticky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can only defend this with eight against this 10. I don't think I'm gonna do that. We are gonna need, see now I'm thinking, do I wanna build a destroyer or a submarine? Submarines would help me take care of this situation, but then I would have useless submarines. And I think destroyers are obviously much better at defense not like destroyers have three or maybe even five but don't like to have stacks of destroyers of like you know five six seven destroyers well uh, submarines do not defend well and they don't defend against aircraft so for the u.s defense against 
German aircraft. I like to build destroyers, I like to have aircraft carriers, and I like to have capital ships with them, full aircraft carriers, battleships, the cruisers that you start with, of course. Um, if things get too dicey, if he builds too many aircrafts or has too many bombers, and my destroyers are obviously just not keeping up with the firepower, then I'll think about a battleship. Um, if I have enough aircraft laying around, I'll think about another aircraft carrier. But for the most part, for just the efficiency of defending my already stacked fleet, I like the destroyer. And we're gonna have to add destroyers to this pile if we're gonna get into the Mediterranean. I have to be able to make sure that I can defend a stack in the Mediterranean, and C Zone 13 is very important for a med shuck to be defended. As long as you hold Morocco, these fighters in Germany cannot make it to 13. So you only have to worry about this one bomber in 13. It's these C Zones that uh, are more difficult to defend. Now if a German player really goes into the aircraft by and just really starts making it difficult to defend separate sea zones, then I'll just use a multinational force in sea zone 8 and start trying to stack France and let him keep building aircraft. As soon as he stops building aircraft and I'm able to defend, I'll split up again. But in this instance, I think we could still go for getting into the Mediterranean. So as far as transports, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I want one more transports. I'm sorry, two more transports, making giving me eight. I can only produce six land units. So let's let's do one transport for this turn. We'll do it like that. Five infantry and two artillery. We'll save three IPCs. I always say I like to have two or three IPCs remaining for the United States. It's very nice to save up and build aircraft. I'm not building any aircraft this round with the United States. Okay, five infantry. Two artillery, one transport, one destroyer. Let's make sure we get you out of here. We don't need you here. You just disengage. Anyway, that's disengaged. So we could take Algeria. It's really all we could take. And let's let's put everything here. Let's tempt him. Tempt him to use his transport and battleship here. Or tempt him to use his bomber or something. Let's let's make this tempting for him. We'll go on a bombing run. He sent two fight bombers against me successfully. Watch me get both mines shot down. So he's got five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight that can get into Russia. And we counted this one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Hmm. I got two fighters here. I think I can hold both. I think I can hold both. I'm not going to be able to take this. Too many Soviet Union uh, units to take this, just to get one tank. Five, six units, I'd have to send six infantry in here and the two fighters and hope that that's enough. And I wouldn't have enough to hold West Russia, I don't think. And I'd lose a UK bomber on top of it. So let's not assault this. Let's not assault this. So we really have nothing more for the United States to do. Let's see, one, two. I could go after the battleship with two fighters. I don't think I want to do that. And I'd have to land one of the fighters in Caucasus. I don't want to do that. I could send a transport up here to take these. I don't think I want to do that yet either. He's got a bomber, he can just simply take it. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should take one of these transports, put two infantry on it, and just send it to Norway. Just one transport. A sacrifice. Alright, may the dice gods be with us. So that's it. Two bombers, I get three, come on. He got nine, I got three. So it seems fair. Anyway, we'll land these two in West Russia. We'll just check our defense profile. You know what, I, I don't want these bombers going last. What's the order I have it set at now? Bombers first. Let's move bombers to uh, to after any to after artillery, but before tanks. Because if we are at a point where we're losing tanks, the bombers should have been gone already anyway. But I don't think this is 
but I was able to defend this well enough without the bombers, so I, I don't think this is a situation where the bombers need to go first. I'm going to put one of these infantry in Moscow, uh, uh, fighters, excuse me, and one in West Russia. Move up the naval units to 13, stack up 13, stack up 13. And then from 13, we can decide what we want to do with this fleet. Are we going to be able to split it up? Are we going to have to just go for a France stack? Which is it? What are we doing? We'll figure it out. Let's we'll see how he reacts to this. But next turn, the United States can either assault France or they can assault Italy. Or they should be able to assault Italy as long as we can defend 13. Alright, let's start transporting the units over. Before we do that, as my own little do not forget, let's just move these two transports back over. Alright, so this transport takes these two units, land them in Morocco. These two transports will take four of these infantry, land them in Morocco. There's another destroyer here, don't forget. Every unit counts. This fighter's gonna stay here, these obviously stay here. This sub. Move this sub up to 59. It's got no destroyer in range of that. And 59 is actually a good uh, spot to have a sub. From 59 you could reach 64, 63, 62, 61, 48, 50, 44, 53, and 50, 56, 65. You can reach all of this. This is a very... This is a spot in the Pacific that gives you a lot of range with naval units. Okay, so after a double and triple check, we have moved every unit that we want to move. Let's move on to mobilization. Destroyer, transport, season 11, two artillery, five infantry, Eastern USA. Let's see what the Soviet Union has in store for us. Okay, Soviet Union, round four. Of course, he did a ridiculous amount of damage, but I could still only purchase four units here, so... So, five units. We get the two artillery. We're not in turtle mode yet. So now, do the Soviets want to go after this? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Hmm. I think I want to go for for this. What would we be able to hit me with? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He'll be able to hit this with 11, so we want to take it lightly, or at least strafe it. We don't want to strafe it, actually. I want to get these two fighters. We want to kill this. I think it'll be worth losing a whole bunch of Soviets to take this. So let's see if we move all of this move all of this into into ukraine 13 probably not gonna do it let's see that is unlikely what can he come in here five six seven eight nothing else hiding right eight so with these two fighters if i could have eight infantry here that'd be great so we got four five six seven eight right here one infantry to bring to archangel so let's send two of these infantry let's see two of these infantry does that makes it strong. That makes it strong. Let's go with that. I don't want to put too many infantry in there. I, I, I'm I, hoping to hold this lightly. We'll see what happens. Or maybe something will happen where he only has one fighter left, and at that point I would probably retreat into West Russia, providing I can hold West Russia. We should think about that. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. He'll still be able to come in here with 13. Hmm. I guess we have to strafe it. I guess it has to be a strafe. All right, let's bring these two infantry in. We have to have six units left. All right. The submarine has no purpose. Okay. May the dice gods be with us.
Um, it's very hard to contain my frustrations here with this. Everything has just gone in this player's favor. And now what do I do here? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And he can come in with 15, 16. He can now come in here with 17. It would take all four of these units to hold this properly. Which, you know what? I can do that. I can do that. Let's do that. And we'll put all of you in here. This unit over to uh, Karelia. Okay, mobilize units. So I have 9, 10, 11 here with two fighters. He can come with 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Let's send it over to Dice God. Or Germany, sorry. Let's see if this player get uh, some bad dice. UK round 4, let's review Germany's turn. 10 infantry, 1 artillery had to repair 9 points of damage from the industrial complex. Tank puts Rhodesia and South Africa. And French Equatorial Africa. And Belgian Congo. Persia. And destroyed my one transport. That was a sacrifice. He took Caucasus. And Northwest Europe. He didn't lose any units there. He moved a bunch of stuff around. Let's see. All the aircraft into Germany. He has seven, eight here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight, nine. And how about taking Italy? For that, he's got seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we have here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But we would need a couple to defend thirteen. We have one destroyer. I could take this out, couldn't I? Let's see. One. Two, three, four. No. Five, six. No, nowhere to land. Mm. Could land in... Italian East Africa. Hmm. Then he's got the uh, these this uh, tr tank down here. So it would be like a sacrifice, because then we could put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten there, and have three destroyers hang back. Should be enough to hold back one bomber, I would think. The battleship units into Egypt. Corellia, it's not very well defended. I'm gonna have to uh, assault that next round, I, I would think. That's interesting. Okay, Poland. One infantry to Bulgaria. One infantry to Baltic. One artillery, two infantry. Mobilized in Italy, two to Corellia, and six infantry to Germany. So, UK's purchases. Situation here is we have to abandon India. What's he got going on here? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15. I got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, so we'll just uh, head into Persia. Do I even want to purchase units for here? It's always the question, you know, do you leave some units behind? Like, what if I left four units behind and produced three infantry? so that he has to attack something. Or is it better to just abandon it and not spend the money at all? What do you think about this? Because I really am perplexed. All right, let's do it. We'll, yeah, we want him to have to come in here with something. We don't want him just sending this back up here. It doesn't really matter much, does it? What do I need here? I can get another transport, but what am I gonna put in those transports? What do I have here, 29? We get a transport something like that oh no 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 we have to no we can't do that hold on we need a destroyer so do do it like that five infantry one artillery one destroyer we'll save two ipcs i think i'm going to use this bomber to help out here he doesn't have any aircraft in range. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So the bomber can land here, the two infantry can assault French West Africa, or uh, French Equatorial Africa. Send this transport up. Tank into Northwest Europe. These two infantry. Take these four units. And Northwest Europe as well. Two fighters, cruiser. Sounds good. India. We abandon it. The sub has no purpose. We're going to have to move it out of range of his destroyer. Alrighty. May the dice gods be with us. So that worked, that worked. Land the two fighters back in eight. Land the bomber. What is this, French West Africa? Anti-aircraft gun with the stack in Persia. Let's see. I guess I'll just go back here to 44. All right, not moving these. Those are my only units that I haven't moved. Everyone else has moved, so that's our double and triple check. Oh, these haven't moved, but we're not moving them. Looks good. Okay, another destroyer in eight. Artillery, five infantry. Let's see, which pan has in store for us? Here it is, USA round four. What did Japan have in store for us? They had one infantry, one tank, one artillery, and one fighter in store for us. And an industrial complex for round four. Took Western Australia with this transport in 38. Could not see it. India, we knew he was gonna take India. Yakut. And he foolishly attacked Persia. I lost seven infantry and one anti-aircraft artillery. He retreated with one bomber and four fighters. He lost six infantry, one bomber, two tanks, and two fighters. So that worked out very well for me. Okay, one artillery and one infantry moved to Kazakh. A whole bunch of units to Szechuan. A destroyer to 38 with the transport. Sub to 39. Four infantry transported to Yunnan. Okay, put the industrial complex in Kazakh. That's very interesting. I mean, I know whatever I put here, he could take next round probably with this air force, but this is going to be useless for him, I would think. Hmm, that is, that is a an interesting choice. So for the United States, we have six transports. I want a destroyer, so I'm going to do a destroyer and one transport. Are we taking Italy? I think we were, yes. Yeah, we're going to take Italy. To do that, we need... We have two extra infantry here. Alright, let's get another transport. We'll get two transports. We'll need four. And then we can get a fighter, and we can save an IPC. I like that. So Italy, take one of these transports and two of these infantry, attack Italy. One of these transports, one of these infantry, this artillery, unload them in Italy. One of these fighters to season 17, the other two to Italy. Battleship and cruiser to Italy. Of course we will take 
Dodge area with these two infantry. We'll leave the uh, tank where it is. These two bombers to see zone 17. Use these two infantry to take fin uh, Finland. This sub doesn't have a purpose. May the dice gods be with us. Alright, we have to land these two in Persia. And then I realized that maybe I should have lost a uh, bomber instead, instead of the uh, fighter. It's too late now, so here. We'll land these two fighters. I will also take these two fighters from Russia and land them there. I think the US fighter can stay here. So here we have six, seven, eight, nine. He's got seven, eight. So a destroyer makes it 10. And then we have four destroyers here. Right, we got the cruiser and the battleship. That's good. That's good. Move these three infantry to Algeria. These three transports. Take two artillery. And four of those infantry. Bring them over to Morocco. Pull this transport back from sea zone 13. This sub is good where he is. Yeah, he's not in range of anything. All right, double and triple check. Not moving these units, not moving these, not moving you. Said you could stay there, you guys stay there. Excellent. Okay, fighter, Eastern USA, destroyer, C-Zone 11, two transports, C-Zone 11, four infantry, Eastern USA. Let's send it over to the Soviet Union. So that'll do it for my second allied placement match, episode 2. So please like, share, and subscribe to this channel and do all the wonderful things that you do. And please remember to join us for allied placement 2, episode 3. And as always, thank you for watching.